Hello. Nadine Dorries is back in the news yet again. It's impossible to wriggle away from her. She is complaining about a, um, a witch hunt against Boris and an egregious abuse of power. The last time I heard the word egregious used correctly was by Julie Andrews when she turned down the Tony Award nomination on, uh, uh, during the last few weeks of her run in Victor Victoria. And that was a spectacular use of the word egregious. She's going to stand with the, with the egregiously overlooked. Wonderful. I'm not so sure Nadine Doris is right because it's not an egregious abuse of power. Uh, Boris and Nadine Doris might be equally irritated had they been in um, uh, in Alcatraz um, as um, uh, 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 accused of a tax dodge like um, Al Capone, you know, um, asking to reform tax law. Well, the point is that the tax dodge was the excuse for getting rid of Al Capone. And the party gate is probably the excuse. It's not the substance of Boris's problem. The substance of Boris's problem is not this lie or that lie, but the fact that he could not command the trust of Parliament, the trust of his party, the trust of the country. That is the problem. I, I, I'm, I'm so sorry to keep harping on about this. One cannot expect a prime minister or a queen or a pope or one, 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 one of these people in, with sort of significant power to be utterly truthful. They have too much information that they cannot reveal. Withholding information is a form of deceit. So we start from the very principle that absolute honesty is impossible. But absolute trust can be maintained. And Boris lost that actually within a few days of coming to power. Boris lost it by um, really abusing his relationship with the Queen. A question mark was hanging over him uh, in those days when he first assumed power and prorogued Parliament, forced the Queen to prorogue Parliament. When he was, uh, when he was successful in the election and got back into Parliament with his substantial and impressive majority, that was not enough to command trust. And that has been his problem, a lack of trustworthiness. And uh, if that amounts to uh, dodgy goings-on in number 10, if that amounts to um, a... Uh, a strange relationship with the truth. Uh, this is all a manifestation of the fact that the country, his party and Parliament do not have trust in him. And that is why he had to go. The same thing could be said of a number of other ministers, Nadine Doris included. And it doesn't matter in a sense whether she tells extraordinary stories about her days on a reality TV programme, The Tower Block of London. Again, that doesn't matter. What matters is she cannot be taken seriously. When she gives interviews, she cannot be taken seriously. And therefore, she cannot command the trust of those people who are supposed to trust her. Now, she could do things to try and earn that trust. She could answer letters. She could meet people. She could... Um, ensure that the people that she represents, all those actors and technicians, were not out of work during COVID, were not out of pocket during COVID, were not left destitute. The problem is she runs a ministry which has never yet dealt with the people who are represented. We need somebody in that ministry who can deal with the arts, who can deal with sport, who can deal with the media. And it's not just about attacking the BBC or attacking Channel 4. She needs to build up positive trust. And she's done nothing to earn that. That is why 
she is wrong. That is why she continues to be wrong. And I'm not surprised if, like one of those um, wonderful dinosaurs in a Ray Harry Horson movie, she continues to thrash about when she is being um, skewered by King Kong. Because that's what she must do. Because she has no other life left in her. So expect to hear far more noise from Nadine Dorries over the next few weeks because this is the end of her career in Parliament. She must go back to writing because she does that... Well, it, as I said the other day, it's almost as if there's another person uh, churning out her work. It's, uh, it, it, it's a different quality of uh, creativity and it's a form of creativity that is impressive. I don't like the stories she tells particularly. I probably won't buy any more of her books. But my goodness, she has credibility on paper in all those books that she's selling that she has never earned in Parliament. Enough.